So, here we are. Hockey night at Cornell for the first time this season on the sacred ice of the Cathedral of Hockey line of rink. I'm uh, here with Chris for Cornell Women's Hockey against Brampton. Uh, Cornell has been uh, pretty much on top so far, ahead of power play, uh, and created a bunch of shots on goal. Chris, any comments so far? Pretty much total dominance. There's not too much to say. There was a nice overload set on the power play, and all they need to do is start putting their chances on net. I don't think Brampton's created a single chance yet. Another chance there, not yeah. a half chance, a full chance there. Uh, Cornell's probably created about five chances in the first five minutes yeah. of this game. So Cornell definitely on top here. It's uh, about 13 minutes to go, and we've got a tripping in penalty. the first period. And Cornell uh, will. Let's see. We're going back on the power. Going play. back on the power play, second time so far in the first period. Uh, about five and a half minutes to go in the first period. Brampton has scored. One nothing, Chris. Any thoughts on that goal? Back post breakdown on the coverage, and goaltender had no chance to get across. Yeah, it's especially disappointing, I think, as Cornell has been so good so far. Pretty much controlled most of the play. Definitely uh, against the run of play. But maybe, oh, oh uh, maybe the last three or four minutes has been a little e more even. But, uh, but definitely, as Chris said, overall, that goal was against the run of play. One one. Cornell scores with just under a minute to go in the first period. I'm pretty sure it was Joey and Solomon and the goal came down the right wing. Absolutely skinned one of the Brampton defensemen. Uh, took it inside and scored. I think it was on the back post, right, Chris? Um, no, it was on the front post. Front post. Sorry. Back in on the front post with two of the best deeks I have seen in any hockey game I've ever played. One through the defender's legs and two making the goalie think she was going back post and then putting it back up in the uh, top shelf near post. All right. Good way for Cornell to come back uh, from that one goal deficit. Still, the last few minutes has been mostly Cornell. Here. If there were more people here, hopefully there will be soon. Uh, that almost does it. We've got a few seconds remaining left in the first period. All right, so it's first intermission between Cornell, Women's Hockey, and Brampton. It's 1-1. One, one. Uh, Cornell's rocking out the CCR here. We, we are. Um, music here is always a little bit weird, um, even though it is a cathedral. got to say that. Um, anyway, when the bands are playing the music. Definitely it is. It's a little bit weird having I mean, Section A is almost empty. Van's not here. Anyway, we're here with Chris. Uh, Cornell's been definitely the better team so far in the first period. Uh, any any other comments besides what you already already said, Chris? You pretty much said it. Uh, all they need to do is just keep possession of the puck, bring it in in clean, and then hitting shots on net. Yeah, Cornell's had a bunch of chances. You know, the, the shots on goal make the game look closer than it was. Really, Cornell controlled the game for about, for everything except well, for maybe... the score a, makes it look closer than it was. Well, so, yeah, so does the score, I guess. Um, but statistics can be misleading, so can score lines. Uh, and Cornell has been pretty much on top for, or was pretty much on top for most of the first period, aside from maybe a four or five minute stretch in the middle around when uh, Brampton had a short, uh, about 50 second power play. But uh, looking good for the Reds so far. If they keep it up, they'll probably be able to come out of this first exhibition game of the season. First uh, skating and anger on the line of ice this year for the win. It's 2-1, about five minutes gone in the second period. Jenner scores on a bit of a breakaway down the left-hand side, cut inside, and uh, Cornell's on top, first time this season, and Rachel's here. Hi, Rachel. What did you think of that goal? Thumbs up on the goal. All right. Chris? She, like I, did not see that goal. Okay. I guess I'm the only one who saw it. It was a nice goal, nice goal by Jenner. It was a, it's a four-on-four. Um, broke, as I said, from the left-hand side and cut in. Uh, and I and she knocks, and it is Cornell 2, Brampton 1, with 14 and 3 quarter minutes left in the second period. It's 3-1, uh, Cornell goal, a power play goal. I have to say that because there's no uh, Sam Rosen to do it for my Rangers. Uh, about 9 minutes to go in the second period. <laughs> Chris says dismissively, it's all about Jim Jackson 1. <laughs> 
Division Two, scoring on the power play. Brianna Jenner, great one-timer. Goalie never had a chance. Yep, and it's 3-1 to the Red. After two periods here at the Cathedral Hockey Line of Rink, Cornell three, Brampton one. Two second period goals from Brianne Jenner. And here with Rachel. And Chris, thoughts on the second period, Chris? Um, as you said, rough start. Uh, Brampton was the better team for about five, five to seven minutes in that first period, right off the bat. Um, Brianne's first goal definitely changed the momentum of that period. For update, an update on the shots on goal from the scoreboard. Fine. You have to be happy where you are given that you didn't play the best period. Yeah. Alright. Rachel, comments on the second period? No? It's cold. I think that's what we're going to get out of Rachel. It is cold. But it is good to be back. And uh, Cornell, uh, as, as Chris said, Cornell, uh, not quite not quite at their best, maybe the first few minutes, uh, but came back into the game and it was, it was pretty much back in control in the latter half of the period. And uh, if they play like that, it should be uh, good value for a win and soon they can keep that effort up for the third period. After two periods, it's Cornell 3, Brampton 1. It's 3-2. Brampton's got a goal back. Just, uh, just under uh, about three and a half minutes into the third period. Uh, I'm not sure who scored, but it was kind of an odd goal. Looked like kind of looped up over, um, I think I think that's Stephanie Moak, the freshman goaltender in for Cornell. Um, Chris, did you, have a, did you have a view on that goal? I mean, I saw what happened, and I'm still not sure what happened. Yeah. Um, kind of looked like it was going over. It looked like the goalie had good posi position on it, but... Yeah. Under her glove, it hit the top of the bar and went in. Uh huh. Not yeah. The top of the bar. Yeah, it was an odd, it was an odd goal, odd goal. But Cornell's been pretty good so far in the third period. So if they if they keep it up, they should be should be all right. And it's 4-2 to Cornell. Taylor Woods scores Cornell's fourth. Any comments on that goal, Chris? Solid shot, rebound, crash the net, put it in. Yep. Classic goal. Classic, good goal for Cornell. And about 12 minutes to go in the third period. Any comments Ew. from over here? Ew. Are you talking about kayak? Uh, um, this is a beautiful goal. Well done, girl. Yeah, let's go red. All right, another Cornell goal. Just over two minutes to go. Uh, Laura Fortino put it in from the low slot, I think. Uh, make it 5-2. Chris, any comments? Uh, we have discovered it. Yep. All oh. oh, red here. Perfect. Yep. The band is here. Feels everything feels a little bit more correct, although they're down they're down on the on the east end of the stadium uh, of the rink um, instead of their normal spot. Any comments on the goal? Over here. Entrance of the band. What? Oh, we're talking about the Allie's happy. So it's uh, final from Liner Rink, Cornell 5, Ramp 2. Any comments on the game from you guys? Sick game. I must said I missed most of it, but sick game. Well done, girl. Well done. Rachel? It was a really great game. Good game. Let's go eat. All right. <laughs> the final word from Chris. That's, yeah, final word from Chris. Cornell played well um, and uh, did what they needed to do. Gave a couple goals, but for the most part, played pretty well. And uh, good start to the season. And they'll be back out there tomorrow night for the red and white game, both the men's and the women's teams. So final from line of rink, Cornell women, ice hockey five, Brampton Thunder two.